People are reacting today to word that a key figure in the infamous Kids for Cash scandal in Luzerne County has been released from a federal prison. As Eyewitness News reported yesterday, former Judge Michael Conahan was granted an early release because of COVID-19 concerns. Conahan and fellow former Judge Mark Chevarella are serving long prison terms in connection with a scheme to send juveniles to private detention centers in exchange for millions of dollars in kickbacks. Our lead IT <laughs> reporter Andy Mahalshik live in Wilkes-Barre with the story now. Andy? Good evening, Nick and Candace. Conahan's early release from federal prison is sparking a lot of reaction. And I must tell you, some of it is downright angry and outraged, especially for family members of children who are victims of the Kids for Cash scheme. I think it's wrong. I think that he got special treatment, and none of the children got special treatment. Judy Laura Fisher's niece was sent to a private juvenile detention center in the Kids for Cash scandal for a very minor offense. She was 13 at the time. She is now 30. She didn't get a chance to come out. She was incarcerated. She was scared. She was suicidal after the first two years. Conahan was sentenced in 2011 to 17 and a half years for his role in the Kids for Cash scandal. He pleaded guilty to a racketeering conspiracy charge for accepting part of $2.8 million in kickbacks from the builder and the co-owner of the for-profit detention center. Now, according to the Associated Press, the AP, the 68-year-old Conahan was sent home for a 30-day furlough because of coronavirus concerns. He has health conditions that puts him at a higher risk for COVID-19 complications. Now, the question is, could that furlough lead to a permanent home confinement? You know what he told everybody in court? They need to be held accountable for their actions. You need to be. Do you remember me? That was Sandy Fonzo lashing out after the trial for Kids for Cash co-conspirator Mark Chivarella, who was serving a 28-year prison sentence after being found guilty by a jury. Fonzo's son killed himself. She says he was sent away as part of the scheme for no good reason, and that led to a suicide years later. She reacted to Conahan's early release. She says, this is very frustrating to me and brings back all of the anxiety and the continued knowing that the system is broke and does not work. Will this set the wheels in motion for his cohort to begin his release also? Referring to Shivarella. The U.S. attorney, which argued against Conahan's early release, issued a statement which read in part, it truly shows that our system operates without fear or favor. When a man who so corrupted the system and negatively impacted thousands of young lives can still reap the benefits of an early release program. Now, we did reach out to Conahan's attorney based in Philadelphia for comment for the story we have not yet heard back. And also, we want to point out our efforts are continuing to get, receive comment from former Judge Michael Conahan. At that point, at this point, those efforts are ongoing. Reporting live at the Luzerne County Courthouse, Andy Bahal, Chicago Eyewitness News. All right, Andy, thanks. Federal prison officials say COVID-19 has been sweeping right through federal prisons, so they have been increasingly relying on home confinement to reduce the possibility of the spread of the infection.